What's up guys? This is Exploring the Holos. Today we got a little different kind of information, a little different kind of knowledge. But knowledge is power and I want to put stuff out there that's going to help everybody. And uh, I'm sure somebody will find value to this. I'm sure this happens to other people. And so let's get let's get into it. this we're gonna fix that the microwave won't shut okay so first off you got this trim ring here going around this and I'm gonna pop that off to get at the parts inside and I already looked there's no screws or anything any other way to get in there Except to take this thing off so get yourself a screwdriver and uh, you could probably use a butter knife or something but I'm going to do that right now You want to be careful. There's clips on the inside that hold this together. You don't want to break it. Especially one like this being nearly 15 years old, I think. This is from 2008. We don't want to break these clips off. And I'm having a hard time up here. might not have to pop it all the way off. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get away with it. Okay, bonus. Um, I took it apart. The spring popped off. A lot of times this hook right here will be broken because it's just plastic. But we're, luck we're lucky this time. We're just going to hook this spring back on there. And we're going to... Find a little doohickey in there where the spring hooks onto. Otherwise, there's just holes, and I could hook that to any one of those holes in this this metal piece right here. Um, here, let me show you. All right, yeah. I'm gonna set that down. See this metal piece has got holes in it. You could hook the spring onto any one of those. As long as the spring's pulling this mechanism back down. We're going to do that right now. Okay, so I did go back and I took the rest of this thing off. Because it was really getting in my way. I couldn't, I couldn't video and uh, <clears throat> I did get a closer look of the bracket in there that holds the spring on that is broken so there is also a hole right here and that's what I'm going to attempt to hook it to and I am going to have to set down the phone for that and voila there we go that's how we want it easy didn't have to buy any parts just had to have a screwdriver so now I'm going to go ahead and pop this back on. What I ended up doing was uh, there was a, it's just got these metal grooves here. I just hooked the spring in there. It may come off again. If that happens, the next move would be to take these four screws out here and take all this metal off. And then I'm going to have to drill a small hole for that spring. But, uh, yeah, that's all there is to that, guys. No big deal. 
So that's for that's it for exploring the holos today. Um, I just ain't got nothing for you except for that. I know that a lot of people are looking for that information, and that is why I did it because uh, I really don't have a good angle out of the light here. Because if you want to know something, everybody knows you go to YouTube, right? YouTube is where the knowledge is. I looked that video up last night, right before bed. It was like a five minute long video. It showed me exactly what I needed to do. I didn't have to go pay the Maytag Corporation for a brand new microwave. It would be two, three hundred dollars or whatever it is. I have no idea because I don't think I've ever bought a microwave in my whole life. And that's the way it should be. You should be able to fix things. You buy them one time and then they're fixable. This uh, corporate capitalist society wants you to spend hundreds of dollars and then in a few years spend a couple more hundreds of dollars and things just get more and more expensive, but they last less and less time. So any other things that I am able to fix and uh, I think it's valuable, I'm going to be putting up here. Any kind of knowledge that will help people, that's my goal. I want to help people. I want to keep people keeping their money in their pockets when at all possible. Most things you wouldn't believe are just simple to fix. And you can save a lot of money. I wish I would have done a video. I, I don't have like anything to hold my phone, so it's really difficult when I'm fixing things. I wish I would have done a video fixing my furnace because I saved hundreds of dollars just buying a part. The part was like $300, but the labor would have been double that, I, I, at least. And uh, that was an easy fix. So, yeah, I'm going to keep bringing it to you. Thanks for watching if you made it all the way to the end. Or I hope this, I hope this stuff helps people. That's all. Until next time, at Oster, my friends. Have a great week.